are we? I decided to make a new account, different account, something more different. Uh, I'll probably post this on both accounts. Uh, yeah. Um, so this update, or not an update, just, uh, what I'm planning to do with this, when I'm planning on some, focusing on small engines on this one. My older one, I'm doing tractors and stuff like that. Um, you can't see out there. I gotta rip the bowl ends apart. It's a push mower, not a rider. It's got a four horse brake this and you can't see it. Damn. Um, there's a tiller, it's got a Tecumseh on it. Um, I don't quite, I haven't created this count yet. Uh, if you're watching this video on a, some sort of, it has something to do with Tecumseh's as a username, and I've created the account. Uh, that's what my account name is going to be, something that's due to Tecumseh's, Tecumseh Man 68, or H30 Tecumseh 68, or something like that. I want to approach naming off this motor. This motor actually got me kind of like Tecumseh's. Um, I just found the bore, cleaned and all, all that good stuff. I, it needs rings pretty badly, actually. This oh, shit. Here's part of the rings. It did have one good ring, but I couldn't get it off, so I just broke it off. So, um, there's this 8 horse to Cumsy, the vertical shaft that's horizontal. Uh, um, probably gonna get rebuilt. Probably won't have a starter motor for a while. Um, it's a pretty strong looking engine. Doesn't look very good. Runs pretty good. Um, the only thing it's missing is the blower housing. Let's see if I can't get one for it. And I do not know the model. All I know it's an eight. All I know it's a Tecumseh eight horse, about 93 or so. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna buy. Kind of a weird video. Um, some junk up there. Get a golf cart muffler right there. There's a little Tecumsey. I got another Tecumsey out there, but the same thing, so I'm not going to use a board tiller. Uh, and I got this fly wheel that'll fit it. Fit them little Tecumseys. It's got the teeth for a starter motor. So, I just put that back together because it was all torn apart up there. That one crapped out on me, so I tossed it up there. I'm going to use it for parts. And I can't get the damn thing to start. I mean, tell them I'm working in a shed. That's what I got. 7x... Oh, no. 7x... I want to say 12 or so. Let's take measure and measure. I'm getting about ten and a half. Um, so I'm guessing. But it is a tall son of a bitch. It's probably fifteen feet tall. So I built that loft. I'm actually cleaning out that loft. I'm actually fixing the whole thing up. It does not have carpet all the way around. It's still right there. And it's up here. Oh, I feel better. Christy out here. I'm running off the drop cord. Gas tank and old chainsaw. 
torn apart. Toolbox. Here's the other side. Uh, I think it's got mice up there, so I'm not gonna mess with that until I get some rat. Mice poison. Um. Yeah, then I'm probably gonna replace the wood, the floor, or whatever it is. Reason is I don't have enough space between here to really put good stuff up here, so I'll probably cut it like you know, right there at the end of the two by four. I won't have anything hanging over, and then I'll then I'll probably gain a couple inches. But right now I can barely fit between, barely fit my shoulders between. Them. That took about twenty bucks to build. Two pieces of half inch four by eight plywood. Uh all five two by fours. Eight footers, but they were. Uh, that's just gonna rig right there, but now I'm sure. So I had to run all of them two by fours roasted with the sag. Really bad way. If you don't, if you work in small engines and you don't have this, I really advise you to get one of these. It's a drill home. Jeez, fucking thing. That thing had a really bad groove. You could kind of see the symbol of it. I mean, it's not too. Um, I might actually do a little bit more before I put it all back together. I need to seat the valves and stuff still, but. Of course, I gotta get a new seal right here. This is what's left of it. Um, I had a uh, gasket set for this. Don't know what happened with it. Or, I had a gasket set for it. Put all the gaskets on it, then I kept taking this back off and on and off and on and off. And then the gasket kind of lost some pieces to it and stuff like that. Camshaft and piston. Some batteries. I finally got a lot of camera batteries. And my triple A's, I picked up the wrong ones. Um, I do have a three and a half horse to come see. Uh, I can bring it in here. Oh shit. I can't even see. Ouch. Come on, piece of shit. There we go. The vertical shaft. Push motor engine. Runs good. Uh, started the other day, hasn't been started since the spring. That fucker popped and pulled cord ripped out of my hand, or not ripped, but it slipped out of my hand, hit my chest, and oh fuck, that stuck. This is a uh, TVS 90 model. There's nothing wrong with it, I believe it's probably gonna need a gasket since it's got some grease down here, wet grease. So. Uh, I might. I don't know if I'm gonna rebuild this one. This one, pretty good shape. Um, I might strip it down, rehaul the bore. I do need to rebuild that Briggs and Stratton out there. That bowling's four horse. It does need rings, and I don't know why it's not running now. It ran a few days ago, just smoky. The only problem with it, but hell, I can't get this thing started for my life. So yeah, this thing, nothing wrong with it, just the deck was cracked. So, uh, yeah. Now, I don't know a whole lot about that engine. All I know, I think it's an H30. Everything seems to line up for an H30. Um, yeah. All my gaskets lined up pretty good. Uh, I had a carburetor kit for it. Which fuck? I stole that carburetor. Okay. So it leaks gas around the jet. So I tightened the jet up a little bit. Tightened it up a little too much and broke the fucking jet. So it's stuck in there. Yeah, I don't have the other end of the jet. So I got a fucking brand new. Yeah, fuck, there's a nail in there. Brand new carb kit. Everything's brand new, except for the float. Uh, I think this carp was pretty bad, anyways. Um, 
So I'm looking to do buy a new buy a new carburetor. Um, Instagram saved. Uh, upload some videos of this actually running before I had the rings in it, or before I get the rings in it. Um, and it's actually, well, one video, it's a couple videos that's running off, uh, uh, that carburetor over there. The other video is running off a uh, Harley Davidson golf cart carburetor, which is right here. It's still attached to the intake. I mean, it ran alright. Nothing to shot about, but it ran alright. Leaks gas right there. So, but I, I didn't do anything to this carburetor since I've owned it. I actually still got the engine. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with it yet. Looking in, I know it needs some rings. At least one ring. Um, I might just toss one of these rings in there. The cracked one. And uh, hone the bore. So it's a rusty bore. Uh, see if I can't get that thing fire on me or something. If I can get it to run, I'll probably fix it up real good and rebuild it. Um, that uh, 8 horse Tecumseh, it needs a, uh, a magneto because I can't get any spark out of it. I'm going to buy an electronic magneto for it. I can't actually find any magnetos that will fit that good enough to get a spark out of it because it's a bigger motor. Um, yeah. Yep, uh, about 20 seconds left, so, uh, um, I don't know what to really say. I've had thoughts of maybe getting that thing running again. I've got mostly all the parts. Uh, I, I think the block is actually shattered. It's got a bunch of little cracks inside of it. It's weird. 